guys, this is Violet with Listen to Your Body. And today I am going to be making some avocado mayo or spread. I made this last year and came up really good. So I'm going to share with you guys how to make a simple avocado mayonnaise. So I am going to open the avocado for you. And you will need a food processor for this um, recipe. Definitely a food processor. So I'm going to open up the avocado. I'm going to make sure you have a good avocado. Yes, this is a good one. Take up the seed. And scoop it in the food processor. Before I scoop the um, avocado in the food processor, what I'm going to add to it, I'm going to add some mustard, yellow mustard, then my sweetener will be um, stevia or stevia and monk food. I cannot have sugar, so you could have, you could put like a half a teaspoon of sugar in there or, you know, maple syrup, half a teaspoon. I'm going to use one lime and some um, salt along with olive oil that's going to emulsify the the avocado so i'm going to scrape it out and put it in here <coughs> so this go to a whole new level and like i say you definitely need a food processor for this recipe if you don't have one, you need to get one for this recipe. I'm just going to it run. So I'm just going to scrape the edge around the edge. Okay, so next I'm going to... This is the consistency you want it to be before you add the avocado to, I mean the olive oil to it. And I'm using um, extra virgin cold press olive oil. I'm just going to slowly add to it. The key, the key is you want to add to it slowly. Adding slowly to it. Just gonna scrape the edge of edges. I'm just gonna go on and scrape again. Add a little bit more oil again to it. Add like a pinch of salt. It's much. You want to, um, you know, as you add your, your, your other recipe I and mean, your other ingredients, make sure, you know, just taste it. Taste as you go. Do the taste as you go. I'm going to put my lime juice in it. Can use lemon or apple cider vinegar. I'm using lime juice. So next I'm going to be adding the mustard to it. I'm 
Now they're just sweet them. Stop it. This is straight the sides. It's gonna it's it's nice and creamy. You see how creamy that is? Yes. So I'm gonna run it again, you know, taste it and go from there. Okay, this is finished. And if you like avocado, if you love avocado, like I love avocado, you want to try this recipe. So, like I said, um, avocado mayo or spread. You know, put on your bread, your toast, eat with crackers, you know, eat it with veggies, and this is good. This has been a nice spread when you have company. And all you have to do, this will last, you know, for, this is like a day thing, one day. So, you just make it for the day. And I'm going to put the recipe in the description box. So I'm going to make a nice spread with this this is a nice spread so again, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna what I'm gonna use to complement this delicious mayo slash spread make a nice salmon sandwich I made this myself homemade my salmon um, salad and so I'm gonna use my nice Creamy mayo. Look at that. That was spread. My sons, they tasted it. I said, Mommy, that's good. So, <clears throat> but they said, Kids tested, mother approved. Look at this. This looks nice and creamy. That is good. Gotta try it. <clears throat> that so mm, nice and creamy okay so I'm gonna put I got some baby kale and spinach you could put lettuce at the bottom with tomatoes whatever the sky's the limit guys you just do you Take it yourself. And a little bit more on top. And put a little bit more this on top. So you could be like an open face, or you can close it like that, like so. Mmm, so good. So if you guys try this simple, simple, simple recipe, try, 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 give it a try. It's like good for the, like I said, if you have gathering, make it, you know, it's for the day and enjoy with the family. So like this video, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and leave your comment below. Let me know if you try it and what you think. Okay? Thanks for watching, guys.